It's that time again. It's Monday morning with Cheryl. Hope everyone is doing well. I recently heard this story that I thought was hysterical. It had an okay ending, thank goodness, or it may not have been so funny that I wanted to share with you because it actually gave me my idea for this week's video. So again, I heard this story of a boy, it was probably five or six years old, who was FaceTiming with an older cousin and he was so excited to be on the phone with this special cousin. And so he wanted to go tell his dad. So he was, I guess, I don't know the whole story, but went and found his dad who happened to be in the shower and went, hey dad, look, it's cousin so-and-so. So it's very funny. However, thank goodness it was a boy cousin. Thank goodness it wasn't the mom in the shower. And I started to think, oh my gosh, that is a conversation about public versus private. And sometimes it's hard for younger kids to um, make that clarification. So it's a really important conversation to have. And there's really two separate ones. There's the conversation about public being in the family areas, common areas and private as in something that you do in your bedroom or um, maybe when you're going to the bathroom. So different families definitely have different understandings about that and we can talk about it and then there's also just what happens in our home in the privacy of our home versus what we do out in public or what we talk about out in public so first in your home for example it is very common for young kids to self-soothe by touching their bodies that is something that you explain needs to be done in the privacy of their bedroom that is not something that you do with other family members. And again, you don't want to shame children, let them know that their body are positive and healthy and that is something normal. Now, different families have rules around going to the bathroom. Do you close the door for certain times? Is it, is it open? Walking around the house naked? Um, some families are very comfortable with that. Some feel like they want to have some conversations around. So again, in those two areas, there's not a right or wrong. It's what you feel is important for your family, but it is important to be on the same page and share with your child what, you know, your family values are around those things. And again, what we do on our own and what we do in um, family common areas. So to think about those things. And then you have, again, the public versus private, what you talk about in your home or do in your home that you would not do publicly. So there's some families that may not feel comfortable sharing information about their finances with other people or a purchase or um, politics. I mean, there's all these sensitive topics. And just what I wanna share here that's most important is that you have the conversation with your child and model this for them and teach them because they won't necessarily know it on their own. So again, just keep in mind public versus private. In addition, I just wanna share that I'm very excited about creating this online course for divorced parents. And I am divorced, I've been divorced for a really long time and there's so much um, added challenge when you are a single parent and or having to um, work with the co-parent and navigate that relationship and what that looks like. So this course, I'm so excited about it. It's really to help people find a community because I will be interacting. We will we'll be acting, interacting as a group as long as having course material online that we will discuss later um, when we're on different calls. I just really love helping people and um, kids are at the heart of the work of everything that I do and just being a parent and navigating that myself as well as seeing how challenging it can be for kids when things don't go well with their parents or even when parents are amicable but just the day-to-day -day, um, getting through life how it can be really difficult. So this course will be to help parents navigate all that, have a community, and I'm just really looking forward to putting it out there to be of help to people as they um, navigate what that is to be a divorced parent. So um, please, please, please spread the word. Soon I am going to be having a landing page where I have some free information that I think 
I did it because I think it'll be really helpful to people around family friendly um, terminology and communication that I think will be really helpful to people. And I just want to put the word out. I'm ready to take names of any, if you know of anybody interested, please let me know. Or if you're interested yourself, I'd love to hear from you and just would appreciate you spreading the word and having people get in touch with me. So thanks so much. Have a great week and don't forget public versus private. Take care.